Hey guys, what's up, Red Nick Gamer here, and welcome to another Farming Simulator 15 Let's Play. Today we are getting harvest underway. Yes, I am passing fields because I actually forgot to mention that up here at the medium farm, the one field that is, one of the fields that is there, not the corn one, but I think it was wheat originally, uh, when you start first start the map, we actually planted that in barley. Uh, it's actually our first barley harvest on this map, so actually gonna start building up some barley storage finally. Got grass growing in the pasture that we bought a few episodes ago now, again. Gonna cut that all off camera, bail it up again. Um, maybe not, maybe not bail all of it up because we actually have a lot of grass bales. I actually had to buy another Easy Hauls uh, building. Um, oop, I got the people. Easy Haul, I had to buy another Easy Hauls building because the, the straw bales were already taken up. The space I had for those were already all taken up. And by the time I got all the hay bales in there, it was all gone. All the space was just gone. So yeah, <laughs> so we um, we have good we have a good amount of bills for a little while. Uh, last us probably probably till the end of until we're ready for for a new map. To be honest, I also want to get these fields here bought, but we don't exactly have the money for it. I mean, we probably do, but you know me, I like to have. Once we get into a save game, I like to have a uh, at least a hundred thousand. Oh my god! At least a hundred thousand dollars in the bank at all times, just in case there's like a new truck mod that comes out that I really want, or or something financial comes along, and yeah, something like that. Don't look at the trailer behind us. Just don't look at it. Just pay attention to what's in front of us. Um, oh yeah, okay, yeah, we got barley here. Um, keep forgetting about this, I, get, I actually forgot about this farm for a good while on this map. To be honest. Now we're not going to start this guy just yet. I'm actually going to do most of the harvesting off camera. Because today, we actually get to harvest some of the potatoes we got planted. And yes, if Farmer Beavis is watching or Toby Moey, yes, we're planting sugar beets next. Don't worry. But, as, as you guys know, the day I'm recording this is actually uh, St. Paddy's Day. So, in honor of St. Paddy's Day and my Irish tradition, I think we should har definitely be harvesting potatoes. Playing that out pretty good, didn't I? Too bad it the farm sim day couldn't have fallen on St. Patty's Day. The day that I upload farm sim, I should say. But, whatever. When I record it, it's on St. Patty's Day, so I think it still counts. Ah, uh, look at all them there, spoods. That was not Irish. I was going for Irish, but it didn't come out Irish. <clears throat> I, no. I'm not even going to try. I'm not going to offend anybody. I can only say certain words in an Irish uh, accent, like spuds. <laughs> uh, now that I, where is our freaking planter? There it is. I'm gonna get this uh, sugar beet planter on over to the field. Oh, we actually gotta get our cultivator over there too. Crap. So let's. I'm just gonna turn turn you off for now. Eh. I'll keep you hired, I guess. Uh, where is our thing? There it is. The 8400 John Deere tractor 
It's kind of loud on startup. All right. I love this thing so much. Whoa! Been a while since I drove it. Obviously. And I've actually seen these things in person uh, once or twice. And the get up and go that these things have is actually kind of realistic in this game right here. Like how it just kind of gets up and goes. That's actually, believe it or not, pretty realistic. From what I can remember. It's been a while since I've actually seen it. Oh, I remember why I don't like the in cab. Yeah, the in cab gets a little wonky when you go fast. Let's get to a spot where I can go fast. Yeah, it gets. In cab gets a little weird when you go fast. Like everything just blurs out and it's weird but anyhow hopefully you guys can hear me better uh, other than compared to last episode last episode I had my mic pretty far away I thought it, it, it was okay but you guys it, when I was editing it it really sounded like the game audio took over my voice at times of course I by the time I public uploaded it I for the most part got that under control uh, I edited the uh, game audio sounding the editing software I use but hopefully you guys can hear me better this time it's actually right in front of my mouth like it always is so my mic is and so hopefully you guys can hear me pretty good and hopefully you guys can hear me really good right now because this tractor in my ears is actually really loud <laughs> but that's not that is how I like to play this game I like to have the mute the sound cranked up in my ears so it feels like I'm actually there right next to the tractor <laughs> obviously it's not that loud in my ears don't worry I'm not I'm not here I'm not like those uh this freaking city kids in school where you can hear their music 10 feet away and it's only little earbuds no I'm not doing that don't worry <laughs> I keep forgetting about this canola too. I still got a sprayer too. Ugh. And as you saw, I did actually buy the John Deere sprayer that uh, Rape Ear 11 put out. It's actually really good. Um. We have no complaints. Although it, it does seem like it kind of goes slow. In FS13, a sprayer would go like 15 miles an hour ish. And I, I tested it on here with the in-game uh, pull-behind sprayer. The top speed is around 9, 10 miles an hour now. So it, it was a, it was a little different for sure. Uh, going that slow when I was uh, used to sprays going to get 15 miles an hour while I was spraying. Once I got used to it though, it was pretty good. And it's a 40, 40 meter working with so it's pretty good in that uh, standpoint too all right we can shut you off no point in wasting fuel when we don't need to right let's try not to run over them spuds laddie uh oh Back on up. There we are. There we go. Ain't running over no spuds in on this farm. We ain't. And if you guys are Irish out there, I'm not making fun of you, I promise. I, I do have Irish in me. I am 5 or 10% Irish. Ooh. That light lag. There we are. Let that get filled up. 
We need our New Holland or our case, whichever one. You're hooked up, you're busy. There's another case around here somewhere. There it is. Uh, let's back up just a little bit. I also think we have some wheat to sell, now that I think about it. From that big old wheat harvest. Yeah, we have... Oh my god, we almost have a million liters of wheat we gotta sell. Or a million tons of wheat we gotta sell. Holy cow! I think it's needless to say that we'll definitely make our money that we've spent back after just selling the wheat. We'll have our money back, I have a feeling. Alright. Let's get this guy unloaded. I have this. I do have a course for course play, but I want the combine to do at least two rounds around the field. I have auto combine set up to do that right now. As you guys know, that's how I like to do it. I like to have him go around twice and then. I disable auto combine and just hire the in game worker to go up and down. A little more realistic, like that. It is. So. That's just how I play. I, everybody plays this game different. I play with a extreme realistic <laughs> point of view. <coughs> <coughs> Where some people may just play just to play and make money. Which is totally fine, I mean, every, like I said, everybody has their own way of playing. In other news, um, I didn't do a mod spotlight on this particular map I'm going to talk about now. It's Wind Chaser Farms. If you guys don't know, Linda BJ, or Linda JB, I always get his name mixed up, but it's definitely Linda something. He's a modder. I, you always see his mods on, um... American Eagle mod site. His house on map he always takes pictures on or screenshots on is Wind Chaser Farms. It's a really cool map from the screenshots I've seen. And he said he would really release it when he has 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. Um, however, I saw Wind Chaser Farms on farming mods.com. Downloaded it. It seems like it's legit. However, I haven't checked his channel yet. I probably should have done that thinking about it now. But, I haven't checked his channel out yet. Nor have I... I may ask him if he released it. Because I don't want to be getting ripped off. I want the real map. And I definitely don't want to spotlight a map where... It's not the actual map, if you guys know what I mean. Like, if it's not the one made by Linda, BJ, Linda JB, I don't want to do it. I don't want to present you guys a fake map. I don't. So, before I spotlight it, I'll definitely do my research on it. Make sure everything checks out. Uh, I'll even go as far as uh, YouTube messaging uh, Linda JB or... Facebook messaging something but till then it's a mystery <clears throat> I need to get a cough drop in my mouth before I start coughing oh man I didn't open it all the way there we are Oh, this is kind of hard. <laughs> Dude, that's all one-handed. Okay. There we go. We're good. We're good. Do a little in-cab driving.
star that has actually been a pretty decent I I know the last episode I just said there has been a bunch of mods out but literally as soon as I released that episode like when it went up on YouTube the day of that I went on to all the mod sites like I do every day see if there's anything out and there was at least six mods that I downloaded uh, two of them be in maps and one of them is when chaser map so just goes to show you you just gotta wait <laughs> That's a trucks entering highway. All right, it's not a highway, but whatever. Nice big turn. Look at that professional driver right here. Let's just take this guy a little further up. Right Here's fine. Can't harvest the fence, bud. It's not gonna work. No matter how much times you tried to harvest that fence, it ain't gonna work, bud. You're just gonna uh, F up my head or even more. <clears throat> there you are. I swear, I always drive better when I'm in the cab. It's so weird. But I... I like to drive outside of the cab too. Because I never really thought about this until uh, Mr. Car of Aura 76. Um, he pointed out in one of his videos that he plays like this because it reminds him of playing with toy tractors as a kid. And I definitely see that now I don't know why I never saw it before because I I used to play with toy tractors all the time I mean all the time as a kid I'm, I actually still have a few here in my room on display um, and that is an absolutely perfect example or like um, way of looking at it like playing like this he made a really good point. I love that point. And if you're watching now, if you stumbled upon my itty bitty channel, um, that's amazing. Um, definitely, definitely thank you for pointing that out. It's an amazing point. Now, I, I agree with you 100%. I agree with him 100%. Yeah, look at that. Almost a full truckload of potatoes. Potatoes. Alrighty. Where is our other puma? Here we are. Uh, he's probably going to be on this side. Uh, he took out a little bit of crap, but... I think on this big field, it ain't going to matter. Yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter. <coughs> <coughs> okay, talking too much. Take a sip of tea. Okay. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm alive. Get this guy. Oh, we can, um, after I get this guy down to uh, the combine. I wanna, I wanna take a, a look at what is it? Field, field fifteen that we apparently own. I, I may need to do that off camera, but I guess now is as good as time as any, right? Is it truck? Let's go take a look at it. Pretty sure I know the way. It's, it's past the sawmill. I'm pretty sure. I know. 
I think we're just gonna take the back way there, if you guys know what I mean. Do a little off-roading, you know. A little dangerous, may crash the game, so if there's a sudden cut, cut that's why. Alright. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay in the grown grass part. Hopefully, the game doesn't do the C word. I'm just gonna say the C word so I don't jinx it. Drive along the field here like a real farmer would. We we know this farmer who owns this land, so it's all good. What is it? A wheat field? Holy cow! This field is huge. Like okay, I knew it was huge from looking at the map, but holy Jesus! <laughs> wow. This just might be the biggest field on the map. Nah, maybe 24. Hmm. I don't know. I think 24 would be the biggest. 5? I, I actually don't think 5 is the biggest. I think it's the biggest in the sense that it, it's oddly shaped and takes up a lot of space like if you put 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 that into a square I think it would be maybe the size of seven or eight to be honest but holy Jesus this is a big field <laughs> this is a huge field let's just take a drive around it for actually we should actually. There's a cow in my tractor. Should probably. Oh, he actually figured it out. Get into our Peterbilt. Yeah. Get these potatoes out of here. Get these down to the potato storage. Or actually, can we? What's the prices on potatoes right now? Prices are down. Uh oh. <coughs> there's zero. There's no. There's no market. <laughs> there's just no market. So let's just go ahead and store these. Nice and wide. Turn out of here. Made it perfectly. I wish there were there were. I wish there were. I wish there were more truck mods out there. I know there was just one one just released uh, recently in the past couple weeks or in the past week I should say. Uh, Peterville. I haven't checked it out. I noticed they were constantly updating, but I noticed. The latest version, version 3, is the final version, uh, so I might I might download that and maybe we'll have a new truck by the next episode. I don't know. It looks pretty good too. It was just setting me off that they kept updating it. And I would just, but they kept, keep doing that. Yeah, it's good, but I tried to see, wait and see, I'd like to wait until there's at least a week in between an update not like an update every three or four days that kind of scares me it does <clears throat> all right which one is it these are potatoes right here Pressed Y too much. Okay, apparently those are sugar beets. 
Hey, look like the potatoes me. Let's let's take a look at these again. Potatoes. <laughs> okay, it looks like he uh the map creator mixed up the conveyor belts. Kinda funny. Oh my god, he's filled already. We definitely need to get another truck. And I don't want to buy another one of these pewter belts. Just because I don't want to have a lot of them. Yes, I know there's an in-game truck, but... We used that before. I mean, it's good and all. But... You know... Sometimes the mods have a little better features. Or a little more American, if you know what I mean. Just, just saying. Wait, is there is an in-game truck, right? I'm not just weird, am I? Yeah, in-game truck. Yeah, it could be, could be more more in I'm just saying. Um, let's quickly. Uh, let's control. Oh, it is there. This is field seven quick cart, yes please. I'm gonna hit drive course. Stop driver. Because he's gonna try and do stupid stuff. And we don't need him to do stupid stuff. Uh, we want him combine. We'll just start him at the start point so he'll go ahead and unload this. There we are. Alright. Let's get back to getting our repeat. Back to the field. All got the people. Hey guys, how's it going? Alright. Nice and wide, nice and wide. Master driver over here. Oh, you're going to make me drive over this, buds? Come on, now. This is, this is potato cruelty. Alright. Let me just make sure... Okay, he actually unloaded. That's good. Now, will he actually go to the combine is the thing. He should. Now, I've used this course before, but you never know what the course play. He's going to stop here. There he goes. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Get out of your way. All right, let's let's do a little farming ourselves. Let's not let's do a little uh, cultivating by ourselves. We don't need we don't need no worker. Start this baby up. Unfolder.
Alright. We want it offset just a little because there's a little strip of potatoes that didn't get harvested. Want to go forward? And we'll just put it on cruise control three. We'll put us at the perfect speed. All right, there we go. In cap for this. I can't do that. There's no front mirrors. I won't be able to see. Let's do this. Hopefully we get it. Can we get it? Oh, professional farmer. Get rid of some, some some grass here. As much as I don't like to, I always like the grass growing into the field. It always looks really good. I'm afraid we have to in this case. We'll just we'll just go up and down since the harvester is doing that as well. Kind of hard to back up. The backup speed is a little too much. Get up and go. It is. Get our tractor straight, and we should be good to go. All right, there we go. now so all we have to do is press three and make sure we keep her straight keep it nice and straight and everything will be good guys we got course play running on our other combine our other combine is wait until off camera to get his job done because I actually have to do that by hand or else auto combine will hit some trees because you know he's so incredibly smart, the hired worker is. Let's move this guy out of the way. Should probably should have done that in the first place, but I'm not a fast thinker, I guess. Right. I do like how you always uh, start in cab. It's always nice. button so it'd be good wrong button again there we are let's keep it straight here Really wish I had mirrors up right now. It's whatever, I guess. Yeah, we are getting it all. Yep. I wish I had a bigger mouse area, so it's not so I can just look around like this. Right now, I take up my whole mouse pad doing that. I constantly have to lift my mouse up. And it looks like. It's not the best, but it is what it is. Take this nice and slow. Make all the noise with my with my potatoes with all my potatoes with my keyboard. Um, I was looking at uh, the combine fill level. Where is the potato bear? Is here? Uh, again with the potato cruelty. We gotta raise awareness, guys. Potato cruelty is a very serious thing. 
And then it does not look like our hide worker here really appreciates appreciates that. Making us drive on potatoes again and all that. It's not right. It's not right. Alright. Might as well just follow him. Take these to the farm. So that's around 80,000 liters of potatoes we have now. That's pretty good. That's some pretty good potato rates right there. Eey. Okay, that was a little rough. That was a bit rough right there. Oh, I'm going too fast. I'm going to hit a fence. Nope. You know why I didn't hit a fence? I'm about to crash an all driver. That's why. <laughs> no, I'm not. Because <laughs> like just 15 seconds ago, I hit a fence there. Whatever. Just whatever. I have my moments of good driving. Uh, oops. What was I doing? How did I end up pulling this up? That's what I want to know. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, clock time. Actually, that's. It's actually almost time to wrap up this episode. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's been a half hour, half hour since I started. So, thank you guys for watching. Actually, no. I'm going to tell you guys what I do off camera. I'm going to do all the harvesting off camera. Uh, start settling off camera. We're gonna hopefully have two trucks going by next episode. We'll have one coming from this farm and one coming from the medium farm since I believe these are these silos are synced up so they both you can take from whichever one and it'll always be the same amount. I went way too far. Um Get two trucks going from each one, selling wheat from one and canola from the other. Make all the money, all the money, all the money come to Papa. So we can get our sugar beet harvester by next episode. And by next episode, maybe we'll even have a sugar beet harvest on our hands. Or maybe we'll do some planting on our, on our camera. Haven't done that in a while. So, thank you guys for watching. Until next time on the Redneck Gamer, see you all in the next video.